special recognition tonight for the man who once called Westchester home. As CBS News' Jessica Layton reports, the Italian immigrant who has since passed is still achieving the American dream thanks to the tireless work of his grandson. Lou Del Bianco has spent a lifetime admiring his grandfather. He used to take me by the shoulders and say, I am Luigi and you are Luigi. Now all grown up, this Portchester man likes to share the special story of being so in awe of that Italian man with a dream of becoming an artist. And to do it on our nation's most iconic memorial as an immigrant? It's to me, it's the, the American dream personified. In the 1930s, Luigi Del Bianco was the man responsible for carving some of the most intricate details on this majestic mountainside sculpture. But nowhere could his grandson find literature, giving Luigi the credit the family believed he so richly deserved. And for some reason, Mount Rushmore has had this policy that it was a team effort and everyone should be uh, acknowledged as a team, regardless of their. Role. So for a quarter century, he's been fighting to get his grandfather the official recognition of Chief Carver of Mount Rushmore. Last fall, he was finally able to show historians copies of documents from the Library of Congress. In them, the designer of Mount Rushmore refers to Luigi as the Chief Carver. And finally, the National Park Service agreed. After 25 years, it was just like this weight. It was just, oh, it was just, <laughs> it's just melted off me. Even though Lou Del Bianco is surrounded by his grandfather's talent in his own home, this is actually where he comes to feel closest to him, a memorial in town dedicated to Luigi a couple years ago. He collected money for the plaque, making sure to include the title Chief Carver well before word of that official recognition. Now, hopefully, you know, the, 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 the country and the world will know it. And Del Bianco points out a plaque like this at Mount Rushmore would be perfect. The story is happy ending. Proud to do his part to ensure the legacy of this Italian American artist lives on. In Portchester, Westchester County, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. And